Underprivileged rural children in Myanmar rely on donations to cover their school expenses. Often the money is insufficient and the schools are urged to start businesses or turn to companies to be able to continue providing education and a better future for these needy kids. As part of the Skills for Social Entrepreneurs initiative operated by the British Council and its partners, social organizers from Vietnam, Indonesia and the Philippines recently made a side tour to three Buddhist schools in rural areas of Yangon. Wanawati Monastic Schools or WMS, Sissi Tor Schools or SSTS, and Zabu Ok Chong Schools or ZOSS. The schools provide free education to around 1,200 students at primary and lower secondary education levels, including several novice monks and nuns. WMS principals said they most rely on individual donors, as their budget simply does not cover all expenses. When money runs out, students no longer receive a free lunch. ZOSS has not been able to finish a new building that was started with assistance from Civic Society Initiative, or CSI, although the school has a company sponsor and regular donors. SSTS is the only school to have launched small businesses, but its principals said they do not bring in enough income. The school produced arm balls for sale in Mandalay a battery recharging service and makes its own charcoal bricks for cooking. Meanwhile, ZOSS grow bananas and mangoes and is planning to sell the fruit. After the visit, the group presented recommendations to social agencies and NGOs during a workshop at the British Council in Myanmar. The group recommended schools with the capability to make uniforms for their novice monks and nuns sell these to other monastic and nunnery schools. It suggested CSI seek people with business expertise to help the schools as well as find markets for their uniforms and other products. The schools could also work as outsourcing or subcontracting agencies for companies for which they produce items for sale. They were urged to conduct more fundraising activities, seek in-kind donations from companies, and propose interesting corporate social responsibility projects. The group recommended schools with the capability to make uniforms for their novice monks and nuns sell these to other monastery and nunnery schools. It suggested CSI seek people with business expertise to help the schools as well as find markets for their uniforms and other products. The schools could also work as outsourcing or subcontracting agencies for companies for which they produce items for sale. They were urged to conduct more fundraising activities, seek in-kind donations from companies, and propose interesting corporate social responsibility projects. Um, the country here at the moment is on the cusp, is a, is a moment of great change and development and a huge opportunity. So people everywhere will be looking creatively to take advantage of that moment. It's important that that moment is a moment where people invest and work ethically with consideration for the rights of communities and the benefits that can accrue to a huge diversity of people here. So I think the future for it is great. There is a very, very active, powerful civil society here in Myanmar. The British Council has been working with these people for a very long time. So I'm convinced that harnessing the power of that active and creative civil society around social enterprise should ensure a really good future for that kind of movement here in Myanmar. I would say the most interesting finding is that in Europe they, are, they work more readily at the regional level. There are policies that are programs that help encourage social entrepreneurship um, in Europe, communication is easily facilitated, uh, travel, and so therefore finding business opportunities, finding uh, business partnerships uh, and investment is easier to do regionally for Europe.
In Asia, however, uh, this cooperation on social entrepreneurship is starting. It's been going on for a few years now, which is why the Asia Europe Foundation is trying to help support this exchange between Asia and Europe to help Asian social enterprises network, uh, build capacities by pooling resources within the region, and for us, most importantly, to bring this inter-regional dialogue, inter-regional exchange for business opportunities, for cooperation, capacity, and for uh, learning how to develop policies that will encourage and promote social enterprises. A second workshop will be in Hanoi in Vietnam this month. It will focus more on impact, how to measure the influence of social enterprises. Wanapha Khao Pha, The Nation's Report.